Welcome to Q&A with Adam K. Today's question comes 21 hours ago from Wins the Drood. Sorry for the off topic, but I have a question. How do I color every second character of a string into red in JavaScript? For example, var a equals this is a string. I want the first, the third character, and so on to be colored in red. Now there are a few different ways to skin this cat in JavaScript. I'm going to show you an approach that will allow you to not only select every other letter in the string and color it, but you might have a requirement that you want every third letter. You might not just want every other letter in the string, you might want every third letter in the string to be colored. Or maybe you only want every fifth letter in the string to be colored. Okay, so start with a blank HTML file, and let's pop in a style element. And we're also going to pop in a script element for our JavaScript. And that's all we need for this quick example. Now in our CSS, we're just going to put two simple rules. So anything on the page with the class of color 1 will be red. Anything with the class of color 2 will be black. And you can swap those colors and change them to whatever you want. Now let's make the magic happen in JavaScript. The first thing I'll do is put the string that I want to affect. And you can see my string says supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Now I need to make an array out of that string. So what I'm going to do is type in var and name my array chars. And that's going to be equal to the string variable dot split method. And we're just going to split by every character. So we can just put in a set of double quotes there or a set of single quotes. Now I'm going to create a new variable that's just going to be the result. And I'm going to be compounding HTML into the result variable. Now since we have an array, we can run a for loop over that array. So let's say for, open close parentheses, opening curly brace, and closing curly brace. Now let's set up the parameters for our for loop. We need var i is equal to zero. Semicolon in the second parameter, while i is less than chars.length. Semicolon in the last parameter is i++. We increment the i variable. So now in the for loop, we're going to take the result variable and compound to it. So we'll type in plus equals. And that will append to it every time. That way it won't get overwritten. Things will keep appending into it. And let's just put a set of single quotes and semicolon. So I'll put a span element. And I'll make sure I close that span element. Now within it, I want the character to be displayed. So we can append to that string by putting a single quote, plus sign, another plus sign, and a single quote. And then in between the plus signs, we type in chars, opening bracket, closing bracket. And in between the brackets, you simply put the i, which is going to represent the array index. So the first time this loop runs, you'll have the s. The second time the loop runs, you'll have the u. Third time the loop runs, you'll have the p, and so on and so forth. So now I'm going to put in that span, class is equal to clr1. That should make all of them red, because we still need a little bit of logic. Now underneath our for loop, the result variable is all finished, so it can be written to the page. So I'll put document.write and in between h1 heading, I'll just put the result. Now this should result in all red. So let's test it in our favorite browser. Okay, now all we need is the logic to alternate colors. And that's very simple to do, and I'm going to use the modulus operator to show you a pretty neat trick. Now before we append anything into the result variable, in the for loop, let's put an if condition that says if i modulus 2 is equal to 0. Then we'll take this, control X, and we'll put it in the if condition right here. Then we'll just type in an else condition and put CLR2 here. So we have CLR1 in this condition and CLR2 here. Let's see what that does. There you go. Your first letter is red, your second letter is black, or really you can make the second letter, the other letters, any color that you want. Now what if I go and change this 2 to a 3? Let's see what happens. Now let's refresh. So you see, the first one's red, and then it doesn't color another one red until it gets to another index in the array that's divisible by 3. Let's go to 5 now. Refresh. So you see how that works? Now there's lots of different ways to do this in JavaScript in a loop, but I prefer using the modulus to see if things are divisible by a certain number and then and only then color them. We also use this logic for grid programming. If you're ever programming a grid and you want boxes to be or elements to be gridded out on the page while you're looping those things out to the page you can put a line break or whatever you need to for the next row in the grid. 
using this kind of logic. So you can use grid logic for alternating the colors within your strings, which gives us this effect. Okay, Wins the Druid, I hope that answer was sufficient for your question.